Well, it's uh, Sunday night, and uh, the day before Memorial Day, and uh, Randy, my brother, sent me this guitar um, to uh, work on, to do a little luthiering on, because apparently I'm a luthier now. <laughs> All right, be that as it may. Um, so I did some work on it. Uh, first of all, a little background of this guitar. Um, this is probably the very first guitar I ever uh, played in my life. Of course, I didn't really play it because I didn't know how to play a guitar. <clears throat> my sister Jackie, now Jackie Hartnell, apparently got this guitar because she was going to take guitar lessons. I don't know how old she was. I, I would estimate she was maybe 13 years old, maybe less. Uh, and this guitar was used when she got it. So I wouldn't be surprised if this car, guitar was manufactured sometime in the 50s, possibly early 60s, but I'm thinking 50s. I'm thinking this guitar is as old as I am, okay? And I'm 65. So here's what I did to it. Randy said that uh, some frets had been worn down. And it's really hard to wear down frets with plastic strings. So uh, they, uh, they had been worn down. And I noticed that uh, three of them had some really deep divots in them. So I replaced those free three frets. And if you look closely here, I'm not sure how well you can see, but all these frets have kind of a brass color, but this one, this one, and this one are silver colored. And uh, I had a couple of old fret, uh, fret work uh, that I uh, had left over from building some other guitars. And these are medium frets, they're not jumbo frets. Um, and so they seemed like they would work. So I uh, used some heat and carefully took out the old frets. And uh, these, I uh, cut, uh, cut them to length and I glued these in because I, you know, I wasn't positive about how well the tang would hold in the existing fret slots. But uh, so they're super glued in. They're not coming out anytime soon. Um, and then I uh, used uh, a, uh, the side of a level that has some sandpaper on it and made sure that these frets were basically the same height as all the other frets. And then I crowned the recrowned them and uh, they all seemed to work. second thing I did is uh, my action was super high and I can't bring this uh, saddle down anymore because it's already as low as it's going to go. And you'll notice these new strings that I put on it are not tied. They have ball ends on them. I got special strings that had ball ends on them because that's, I can get a break angle. That was a problem with the other with the guitar before, is that the strings were slipping up, and the angle wasn't enough, and I was getting a sitar sound as this wasn't breaking enough to really stop the vibration. Okay, so what else did I do to the guitar? I put markers on the frets. Because uh, once you get up past the 6th, 7th, 8th fret, I kind of lose my way. And the way I did these markers was really simple. I took my soldering iron, it has a little point on it, heated it up really well, and I basically just pointed these markers in. I sanded this off a little bit so I got light wood, and then pointed the markers in. And there's, of course, there's two on this one, which is the 12th fret. Okay. What else did I do? 
Well, I installed a uh, strap button up here. But I can't play a guitar unless it has a front strap button. So I actually made this strap button out of an old leg screw with a combination of a drill and a sander and uh, another drill. I drilled a hole through it so that I could put a screw through it. And it all seems to work. Holds the guitar up. To modify my strap a little bit so it fit around it, but it it ain't coming out. Okay, and then uh, some of the couple of these uh, tuning heads, uh, the, the the things you turn, were bent like crazy. So I unbent them. One of them I actually kind of cracked, but I put it back together and it seems to be fine. I again I used super glue and. It seems to be solid. Uh, and also, these uh, tuning keys needed to be lubricated, so basically I oiled them. And uh, so now they're, they're pretty good. I was able to tune it up. Nice new strings. Guitar is pretty accurate. Play a song for you. Here we go. I learned the truth at 17. Love was meant for beauty queen. High school girls with clear skin smiles who married young, then retired. Valentine's and never knew For Friday night charades of you were spent on one more beautiful at seventeen I learned the truth and those of us with ravaged faces lacking in the social graces desperately remained at home. Called and said, Come dance with me. And murmured vague obscenity. It isn't all it seems. Seventeen. A brown eyed girl in hand me down, whose name I never could pronounce. Said, Pity, please, the ones who serve. And the rich relation hometown queen marries into what she needs with a guarantee of company in a haven for the elderly. Remember those who win the game and lose a love. They suck to gain in Devonshire of quality. Small town I who gave it you in dull surprise when payment due exceeds accounts received. Seventeen. Those of us who knew the pain. Valentine's and never came. Those whose names were never called. When choosing sides for basketball, it was long ago, far away. The world was younger than today. Dreams were all they gave for free to ugly duckling boys like me. We all played the game and when we dare to cheat ourselves at solitary inventing lovers on the phone repenting other lives unknown they called and said come dance with me 
murmured big obscenity ugly guys like me Okay, so there's a song on the guitar. There was one more thing I did. Uh, the neck. I said that this action was really high and I couldn't lower it here. But the neck was coming away down in here. There, were, You could see space in there. And so what I did with that is I uh, built a little frame so that I could force the neck back as much as I could. And then just to make sure, and then put some glue in between there. Uh, and to make sure it didn't go anywhere after that, when I put strings on, I put a screw in right here. I'm sure that's absolute sacrilege to put a screw like that. But hey, this guitar is 60 some years old. Uh, if that is gonna hold the neck in position, then that's what I'm gonna do. So you get a little squeak off of my thing here, that'll probably wear it, work itself out. But uh, <clears throat> Randy said he wanted to uh, have this guitar available so someone could uh, learn maybe to play the guitar on it. So right now... There's only one thing that's really wrong with this guitar and is that these tuning keys are super, super loose. 60 years of turning has caused them to wear in such a way that yes, they turn and they, they you know, if you start below the, the pitch and you bring it up to the pitch, they're fine. But when you back it off, they're totally loose. And uh, because this thing doesn't turn backward uh, at the same rate it turns forward. And so both of sides of these tuning keys should probably be replaced but I'm not really certain this guitar is worth the uh, however many dollars it would cost to do that. So I'm hoping that uh, just the way it is, it'll be fine. <laughs> 